Right, let's uh, let's just chuck a more a few more explosives at it, and then we have to get one of these bad boys and uh, just absolutely level this place up. Ah. Uh, Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome to Teardown! Now, if you don't know what this game is, uh, if I had to describe it, I would say it is the beam and G of building destruction simulators. I've been following the dev process of this game for quite a while now, and it is straight up some of the most impressive tech I have ever seen. And if you've been around the Neological channel, you know I love stuff like this. Anything where you can crash, explode, break, or demolish anything, I am all for it. So safe to say I've been looking forward to this game for quite a while. And it's finally here after, what it's got to be a couple years now that I've been following this thing. We can finally play! So in today's episode, we're going to do just that and i think the best place to start is just clicking on that campaign button uh because i want to see what this game has in store for us so uh, if you want to see more tear down on the channel which i think you already know you will uh make sure to hit that like button down below but with that let's get in to tear down all right so part one Okay, we got off the bus, so we're gonna walk home. More like run home, I guess. I don't really know. <laughs> this game is absolutely gorgeous. It's a, what do they call it, voxel style? So kind of reminiscent of Minecraft, only a little less blocky, but it's still pretty blocky, but I love that about it. It's a really cool uh, aesthetic. We got the amnesia physics on the doors. Uh-oh. There we go. Let's go ahead and swing that open here. All right, so we gotta get inside, but it looks like uh, there's a bunch of crap in the way, a bunch of boxes, so I can just... Go ahead and yeet these out of there. We go, oh my goodness. Oh no. Uh oh. I'm already breaking stuff. Oh no. I probably needed those power lines, right? Yeah, I mean, we're not going to worry about it. <laughs> we're just not going to worry about it. Just get this stuff out of the way so we can get the door open. And there we go. Looks like there's a bigger door here. There's a small door on the big door. Uh, not sure how that works. So we got some tools here. We got the, uh, the fire extinguisher, of course. And again, I know I'm, I'm going to do this a lot during this game, but I'm going I'm to notice really weird little details. But look at the physics on this. Why does that look so good, man? It looks straight up like foam. That's... <laughs> it's so cool, man. All right, what else we got here? We got the, uh, of course, the spray paint. So we can, uh, we can write whatever. I wrote... I wrote fug. I don't know why I wrote that, but uh, it was the first word to come to mind. Anyway, that's the spray paint. You you can spray paint stuff. It will come in handy, though. You will see. Anyway, lastly, we have the sledgehammer, of course. Can I break stuff? I can break stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I was working on this car or if somebody else was working on it, but I'm, uh, I'm wrecking it now. So uh, now we got to go outside and replace the fuse and turn... Uh, the power on. You know, I guess we could go back through the door, but we can also just straight up go- Oh! Okay, I guess that's metal. So I just broke the window for no reason. Oh, there's a door. That's a- that's a little embarrassing. Alrighty, so that's the room, I guess. So it looks like there's some overgrown branches, but no worry! We could just break the branches. Literally everything in this game, uh, you can break. So let's go ahead and replace the fuse. There we go. And now- we should have power or not because I took down one of the power lines. Uh-huh. The destruction business just isn't what it used to be. Did you guys see that graph? Even the people are pixelated. Ew. Oh, that's kind of kind of terrifying. I don't know why. Anyway, so there is a story to this game. Uh, so I guess the demolition business isn't doing so hot. So let's check the computer here. And we have a message from Tracy with the gas bill. Just dropped on the floor. Honestly, I'm not sure we can make it through the month. Are you getting any requests? At this point, we pretty much have to accept anything. Be creative. Hugs for mom. <laughs> Thanks, mom. All right, so here's the bill. Just came in. Sounds kind of fishy. Uh, oh, wait, no, this is a job. Uh, but we need the money. You up for it? Uh, good evening. My name is Gordo Wu, general manager of the Evertides Mall. I have a slight problem with an old building. That's blocking our plans for new wing and we need somebody to knock it over. I need it gone by tomorrow and I would even be willing to pay more than the standard rate for some extra discretion. Um, quick execution and uncomfortable working hours. Would you be able to take care of it? Sure, man. I'll take out an old building. No problem whatsoever. So let's go ahead and head over uh, to the Evertides Mall 
and get rid of this eyesore old building problem, I guess. I don't know. Alrighty, our first job. So I guess we just straight have to straight up have to demolish this building here. So it's six point three meters tall. What is this? Can I read this? Locale Municipal Folk Museum. Alright, yeah, we don't need this sign. Get out of here. <laughs> you can even destroy the ground uh, to an extent. Oh, that is so cool. So what is this? Uh protected cultural heritage. So should I be doing this? You know, money is money. We're not going to worry about it. We're probably going to regret this. So, ooh, we got some propane tanks, though. So we can, uh, yeah, we can just straight up throw this at the building. Oh, this is going to, this is going <laughs> to, this is not good. But we're going to do it anyway. Oh, I think I was standing a little too close. Okay. So I guess the brick is a little too tough for the sledgehammer, but that's probably like the main support. Oh, we got a fire. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine, as long as it destroys the building. I'm gonna send another one right there, right up Main Street. Ow, that hurt again. And let's just keep doing this. It's, it's, it's working. So why the heck not? Did I break it in half? Yeah, I did. Let's send one right to the roof there. Oh my goodness. Oh, we, it's, we might actually not have to do anything. It might just burn it to the ground. Well, let's send some more just for good measure. Look at the destruction, man. I love it. The user, do I have to put the fire out? What if I don't want to put the, oh yeah, he said to be discreet about it. Oh God. Okay, okay, yeah, we should probably put this out. <laughs> I mean, it was fun while it lasted. Okay, yeah, this there's smoke filling up this room here. All right, just put that out. There we go. The stairs still working. Yeah, they are. There we go. We don't want to alert the authorities, especially since I learned that this is a uh, protected cultural site. Uh, so we probably don't want to, yeah, cause a huge fire here. So how else are we going to take this down, huh? I think we have the main support mostly broken here. There is a little, let's see if I can break that little bit, little piece right there. Guess not. Dang it. All right. Well, we're going to have to get creative. You're going to just go like that. Yeah, you can. <laughs> but I see some machinery over here. Are those more explosives as well? It is. Oh, you know, I kind of want to use, I just kind of want to just chuck explosives at it. Like, ugh. Oh, oh, don't hit the van. Oh, I might hit the van. Oh, no. I did. I think I did hit the van. <laughs> it's fine, though. It's fine. All right. Let's, uh, let's just chuck a more, a few more explosives at it. And then we'll have to get one of these bad boys and uh, just absolutely level this place up. Huh? Uh. I think I accidentally blew myself up. I, I definitely did. Did I drop it? What happened? You died. Explosions, fire, falling, and bullets can hurt you. Keep an eye on the health meter. Yeah. And apparently be very careful with the propane tanks. Now we know. All right. Speed run time. Throw this straight at the chimney. There we go. And let's get another one for good measure here. I'm going to use all of them. I want to get that chimney taken care of real quick. Let's try not to... <laughs> Let's try not to knock it around too hard. There we go. That chimney is tough. They don't build them like they used to. That's for sure. Do we start in a fire this time? No, we're not starting a fire. Sweet. Dang it. <laughs> I'm surprised that didn't kill me. All right. Well, well now we have a, we don't have to jump the fence because we blew a hole in the fence. But now there's a fire going on the actual fence. That probably won't stay lit, though. All right. So let's send one right there beautiful i think we got a solid yeah we did awesome i'm just gonna actually you know i should probably put this out no not spray paint that's not gonna do the trick there we go there we go well we got one more over here so we might as well send it right through the front door there we go easy entry here we do have a few flames here though so let's take care of that before it spreads too much there we go now Oh, we got another. Do I have to destroy this too? I'm assuming you do. Oh, this is a very rickety shed here. Let's just take a couple bits right there. Beautiful. And down it goes into a heap. Look at the physics at play in this, man. It's <laughs> this game is insane with the physics. Some of the best I've ever seen. Uh, you know, the benchmark for building destruction, I think up until this point, 
Uh, people would say is Red Faction Gorilla, but I think this might have it beat. Here we go. Oh, yeah! Right into the side. Let's, let's see if we keep digging at it here. See if we can just drive straight through the building. Oh, so close. Here, hold on. Let's, let's lift this up through the roof. We don't need the roof. There we go. Beautiful! This thing, I'm surprised it's still standing, to be honest. I am surprised it's still standing at all. Let's go through this side. Yeah! Yeah, get it! There we go. And maybe once more backing through. And I think we might get this thing a tumbling. Oh, it's still standing! This ought to do it. Oh, <laughs> it's literally... Okay, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make... There it goes. There it goes. All right, let's lift uh, lift this up. Start smashing our way through here. Yes, sirree. Oh, we are just shredding. We are blending this house. Oh, my goodness. Oh, can we zoom in a little bit? Yeah, we can. Oh, there's a first person mode if you go in far enough. All right. Through the roof. There we go. There we go. That chimney's still holding on, but there we go. Mission accomplished. Get to the escape vehicle. You know what? I'll just leave it like that. Sure, why not? <laughs> so I would say we uh, thoroughly destroyed uh, this house. Can I take down the tree? Yes, you can. Look at that. And even all the, the, the uh, leaves on it. It's insane. Literally anything can be destroyed. Well, I guess not the road, apparently, but that's fine. Anyway, let's get away. We did it. The escape vehicle <laughs> makes it sound like it's a crime, although it might be. Because it's, you know, cultural heritage site or whatever. Oh, okay. Good morning. There we go. Uh, all right. So rise and shine. Let's see what the day has ahead of us here. Uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and check the computer. There's probably a way down the right way, but I'm just going to jump off the top. It didn't really hurt me that much anyway. I pick up these weights. Oh, they're heavy. Yeah. Yeah, I can't even throw those, man. But I threw a giant crate outside. Doesn't really make sense to me, but you know what? Uh, whatever. What's the news saying today? An investigation has been opened. Wait, what? Uh-oh. What did I say, man? What did I say? I saw the tail end of that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think we might be in trouble here. All right, let's check our messages. Investigation. Uh, what a morning. Shouldn't have taken that job. I knew something wasn't right. Uh, that building was under cultural heritage protection and the demolition is now part of a criminal investigation. Great! Miss, uh, Turdeman? Miss Turdeman at the police just sent me this photo. That's me. <laughs> Speeding away. Uh, they must have caught you on a traffic camera heading towards the mall. Uh, the very last thing we need right now is an investigation. I tried sweet talking her and she thought, uh, she could get the case dropped but asked for a favor in return. I don't know what she wants, but just do it. She'll email you directly. There she is right there. Paris Turdeman. <laughs> just so you know, I don't usually do this, but I'm stuck on a case and I feel like I should try something new. I've been, investi I mean, been investigating Lawrence Lee Jr. over tax evasion for months now, uh, but he has so many friends in town that I can't get a warrant. Uh, how about you use your skills to borrow uh, the computers over at Lee Chemicals so that I can finally access his customer registry and sort this mess out. If you do me this, I'll make sure your little blunder will be forgotten. Okay, yeah, you know what? I will take that job. So we're going over to Lee Chemicals. I guess we're gonna we're gonna steal some stuff, but uh yeah, not gonna not gonna destroy anything, right? <laughs> Alrighty, so here we are at Lee Chemicals. So let's uh let's see what we're doing here. Uh so I guess we're just kind of breaking in and stealing these computers. The only thing that will trigger the security is the fire alarm. Uh, I guess they don't care that much about security. The front gate's open, man. What are you guys thinking? You know what? Since we can only get um, caught by fire, you might as well steal a car and drive it through the front door. So here we go. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> oh no, come on. What am I stuck on? Really? Did I even put a hole in the... I mean, I did put a hole in the wall. But not really. Is there any other cars around here? I take the... Really? I took the only car and I got it stuck immediately. Come on, man. I do see... Oh, what's that? 
I do see that. What is that? Oh, that'll do nicely. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's a uh, computer in that. Yeah, there is right there. So I guess if the truck's not going to go all the way through, this has to, right? Here we go. Yeah. That did it. Oh, we took out some pipes as well. Oh, geez. Okay. I actually need to lower this a little bit just so I, I don't know how high I can jump. I'm kind of running over the truck, but we're not going to worry about it. Actually, can I run it over? I can run it over. Yes. Uh oh, uh oh, stuff is breaking. Doesn't matter, though, because we did blow a giant hole in this wall here. Hopefully the computer wasn't right there. Can we get a snack? Thank you. Grab valuables. Yeah, I'll take that. What was it? Hidden cash worth 200 bucks. Whoa, okay. So we can just steal paintings as well. We're good thieves. We're good thieves. Bust the doors down. Beautiful. What's this? Don't erase. Attic is off limits for all employees. Is there something up there? Is there something up there that I should know about? We can just blow a hole in the wall and see. I can't really jump that high. But uh, get this out of here. I'll take this as well. Now I kind of want to know what's up there. Why is it off limits? Could there be a secret? I don't know, but there is a computer in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. Uh, let's see if we can maybe go outside here. Can I just... Yeah. Yeah, okay, I can go through this wall, but not not the exterior. I guess those are brick. Yeah, they are brick. Okay, well, I want to see if there's a way. Uh, <laughs> I can't get through any of this. Come on! Uh, okay, I'm going to go around back then, but I want to see if there's any way I could get up to the roof. There is. Okay, can I go into this building here? Now I just really want to know if there actually is something up there because you can't just say something like, it's off limits. And not expect me to want to go in there, you know? Maybe I can... Maybe I can kind of climb these. Oh. Why is this kind of working, though? Ooh, ah! Oh. Okay, I did it. Now what? Now what? Now what? Can I can I jump up here? Hua! Yes, I can! It worked! Whoa! Okay. It was this one, right? Hua! All right, let's see what's in the attic here. It's got to be something good. What is that? Ooh, tax deductible pension fund, 600 bucks. You sneaky, sneaky, naughty, naughty. Okay, that, that'll come in handy. We got $600 Uh, What else am I? How, okay, where's the other computer, actually? There's one right. Oh, I missed that one right when you walk in. How could I be so dumb? I don't know. There's a computer right there. Looks old. Break it. <laughs> That's the beauty of this game, man. You can break just literally anything. That's... That's why it's so freaking cool. Just bust my way in. I'm not being very discreet about this, but I don't think it matters. I'm supposedly stealing from bad people anyway. So, you know what? Who really cares? All right, where's this last one? It's in this building back here. Okay. Do I need... I hope I don't need the uh, heavy machinery uh, to actually make our way in there. But, oh my goodness. Oh, those are big explodey boys. Okay, you know what? Now I kind of want to go get it. I hope I didn't get it stuck because then I can just drive it straight into the propane tanks and cause a big, big boom, uh, which should get us into the building. But uh, hold on a second. I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to get it out of here. Okay. Okay. Just don't flip it over, man. Oh, geez. Okay. I think we got it. We're in the clear. Beautiful. All right. Here goes nothing. Yeah! <laughs> in a big cloud of smoke. We have made it in. There might have been a door over there, but uh, you know, it's more fun to go this way. It... All right, how do I get up? Where is it? Where is it? Is it up there? Yeah, it is up there. That's what I thought. How do I actually get up there? Can I get in this thing? It doesn't seem like it's the most stable. Actually, you know what? I could just, oh, I could just blow a hole in the bottom. This might hurt me a little bit. Oh, we're okay. Oh, look at all that debris. And then maybe I can climb up on this. And then actually, I'd chip away at the uh, at the floor a little bit here. Come on, let me back up. There we go. And this, get it to fall. Come on. Uh oh, I may have gotten a bad spot here. Hold on, hold on. I got this. There we go. And then just pick it up like so. There we go. It might not be in the best shape, but we did get it. So what is that over there? 
Is that a power plant? That's a big dam right there. I don't know. But we got everything we needed, so let's go back to the vehicle. Back to the van, because I think we are pretty much done here. Nicely done. Smooth escape. There we go. We did it in 6 minutes, 48 seconds. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Hit and run. No fun for leasing. Break in at chemical plant. The perpetrator caused property damage <laughs> a little bit and managed to get away uh, with electronic equipment. CEO Lawrence Lee Jr. says they will upgrade security and should be up and running. Come on, scroll faster again soon. Uh, Yeah, try me, dude. Try me. I already broke in. Not much you can do now. All right, let's see what else. What's new here? All right, so Harris is getting back to me. She said the customer registry indicates that Lee has worked almost exclusively with a single client recently. The client is only referred to as BT and no further details. So I really have, I really have to bother you with one more favor. Head back to Lee Chemicals. Uh oh, I shouldn't have said anything. And fetch their employee login devices. I should be able to cross-reference their log files uh, with the delivery schedule to figure out. Uh, where they are moving the products and what BT means. I heard they installed a new security system. Be careful. All right. All right. Let's do it. So I think this one's probably going to be a little bit more difficult because uh, once we trigger uh, the, the switches there, we got to get them all and then dip real quick. So yeah, this one might be a little trickier, but let's give it a shot. Okay. So we're back and uh, he's got the gate shut this time and it's locked. Beautiful. All right, so I'm just going to take these off. Why the heck not? So we got to go. What's the best route here? We got to go. I'm assuming we got to go from here to here and then probably go across the roofs to here all within a very short 60 seconds. So we got to be very methodical about this. We have to plan out our routes uh, here. So I think we should probably start over here. So let's head that way. Now I actually need to figure out how I'm getting over the fence first because we're probably going to have to get out the same way as well. Or is there any cars in there that we could just bust through the gate with? There is a truck. But I'm going to play it safe. At least for now. I think... Let's see. Can I get up these rocks? Yeah, yes, you can. Whoa! You can really get up the rocks really quick. Okay, that's good. we got to keep that in mind. I should actually probably mark this spot with a big yellow arrow like so beautiful hard to miss that especially on the map but um let's go over to the first switch here now I assume I can cause as much damage as I want but uh, I just can't trip any of the uh, the alarms the wires here so yeah we can we can mess about as much as we want here but uh how do I get in here can I get in here? Yes, you can. Okay, cool. All right, so where is the actual switch? That is the question here. It's right there. We go. Okay, so how do we get from here to over there? It looks like there's actually a thing going across. Can I actually access that, though? Doesn't really look like I can. Not easily. Hold on. Let's see what's out here. Just bust out the windows. Beautiful. Okay, that's just a, that's just a window. Okay. Whoa, no! Take it. Ooh, what about that one? I could go onto the roof and jump up. Yes, I think that's actually what I'm supposed to do here. Hold on. I just want to get, I got to test run everything. I want this to be perfect on the first try. We do have explosives if we do need to use them. That's, that's good to know. All right, where is, is there any spot I can jump? Why do I keep falling? Come on, man. So I can get through this wall. I think I'll be able to like kind of just go straight over. Yes, no, hold on. Let's take one of these and just chuck it at that wall. Beautiful. All right, get this out of the way. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, I need to go up more, don't I? Yeah, I kind of I kind of do. That's that's a weird spot. Actually, you know what? Maybe maybe I can bust this window out. Oh, there's a roof right there as well. Okay. Okay, we're figuring this out together, guys. I still got one more of these. Just don't blow it up. There we go. All right, one good one right there. How's that? Yes, beautiful. Okay, so... Uh oh 
Oh, I thought there was a fire. So we need to start. We start right there. We get an arrow going right here. And then we jump up here, run across. Oh, this is working. Can I make this jump? Hooah! Beautiful. Let's put another arrow right here. And then I think we need to bust down this door. Can we bust down this door? Yes, of course you can. What am I even saying? All right, so where's the next one? It's right here. All right, so then... What do we do then? All right, so I need to get over to this one. So maybe I can go... Can I get on the roof somehow? Oh, wait. Oh, there's just a bunch of junk in the way. Okay, let's just go ahead and eat this stuff out the window. We don't need it. It's just it's just in the way at this point because I, I think if I... If I get this crap out of the way and bust a hole in the window here, I think I might be able to get onto the other roof. So let's uh let's go ahead and bust these out. Beautiful. That's looking good. All right. Yeah, this is definitely I think what you're supposed to be doing here. So let's go to another big arrow right there. And then hold on, let's make sure we have enough headroom here. Onto the roof. Beautiful. Let's put another arrow because I need I need all the direction. I'm really bad with directions. I need all the indicators I can get. And then we can jump down right here. And, you know, just for the heck of it, another arrow. Because why not? And I think the other one is above us, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. And then that's pretty much... Then we just go back around like there and we're out. Okay, so I think I actually have a pretty good plan here. Let's bust out these windows just so we have a good way to escape. Let's try not to break our legs on the way down, though. I think if we jump right there, we should be good. So we'll go around there, come out here, jump down here. And then we're going to go this way. I think this leads back to where I, I, I originally jumped the fence. Uh, let's see here. We go this way. And then I guess we can just kind of go like that and yes, and we're done. Okay. All right. So we have it planned out. Let's take one more look here. I think this is a pretty good route. So let's give it the good old college try and, uh, and see what happens. I'm going to keep my sledgehammer out just in case we run into any problems. But, uh, I think if I get my jumps timed perfectly, I think this might be just, just perfect. All right, here we go, fellas. Are you ready? I don't know if I am, but let's do it anyway. We're going to go ahead and quick save. All right, three, two, one. I might not talk a lot during this just because I'm going to be concentrating. Just so you know. Anyway, three, two, one, and go. I missed the jump. It's okay. It's okay. Whew. I was a little worried there. We got it, though. We got this. We still got 30 seconds. We're good. We're good. We got to be quick, though. Definitely got to be quick. Down here. Oh, okay. Broke my ankles. That's fine. 20 seconds. Get over the rocks, dude. Come on. There we go. Get to the van. There's the chopper. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's terrifying. Get in. <laughs> we did it, fellas. Oh, my goodness. It even shows our route that we're taking. That is uh, pretty cool. You can see all the times I got switched around. I messed up. <laughs> I was really scared when I didn't make that roof jump. I thought we were screwed, but there was a little lip that let me get back up there. Wow. That, that got my heart racing, man. That's kind of intense. When you really get down to it, that is, uh, yeah, that's really intense, actually. But we did it! So, let's go ahead and continue, shall we? Seven minutes, 39 seconds. Not bad. You reached a new rank. A new tool has been delivered. What did we get? What did we get, Captain? A blowtorch! Does that mean I can cut through metal? <gasps> oh, you can. You can. You can upgrade tools at the computer terminal. Interesting. Let's see. What can we upgrade anything? I, I really want to just dope sledgehammer. No, we can't. Dang it. Oh man, we can't upgrade the uh the blowtorch though, so that's pretty cool. 
All right, so before we go, I do want to check out the sandbox mode just because I want to try out this blowtorch. I want to see if I can start a fire or something, maybe. So is there any, like, wooden buildings around here that I should know about? I'm pretty sure there's at least one or two. Yeah, there's one right here. I got to try it. I, I got to try it, man. All right, get the door open. Come on! <sighs> really? Got to do everything myself. There we go. All right, let's just see if we can start a little fire here on the couch. There we go. I'm just going to step away here and uh, see what happens. <laughs> Maybe I'll speed up the footage here for you guys. Oh god, this is this is kind of terrifying guys how fast this is spreading. <laughs> it's making me a little nervous. Hold on. I gotta get out of here. That is terrifying, man. Wow. Let's see what the other side's looking like. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, this thing's burning down to the ground. That's for sure. I wonder how long it takes to completely melt to the ground. Let's uh let's figure that out, shall we? I'm just gonna sit here for a minute. It even uh spread to the fence. Now the fence is on fire. Now I'm kinda wondering if it's gonna like burn all the way down. Set this on fire or is that metal? That's not metal. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I could burn down the whole map. For all I know. But yeah, there's not much left of this thing. Uh, to be completely honest, it is... Yeah, it's getting turned into a skeleton real quick. I, I assume it's gonna collapse at some point. It pretty much already is. Stuff's falling into the water. Yeah, that is... Oh, there it goes! Alright, alright, let's attempt to put this out now, shall we? Just absolutely flood it with the foam, baby. There we go. I don't know if I'm doing anything. This might be a little too, too, not enough, uh, too late situation, but, uh, you know, it's the thought that counts. All right, there's still a little bit up here. Let's just, just get it all up in there. There we go. Beautiful. I still hear some crackling up there. No, we're good. We're good. So, yeah, it took a... Two minutes or so, and this thing is basically, uh, ash on the ground. The fire in this game is insanely cool. And the foam, I don't know, something about the foam is just too good looking, man. I just want to mess around with it all day. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Teardown. Uh, expect a lot more on the channel because, uh, this game is so fun, man. It lived up to every expectation that I had for it. It even has a, uh, a map creating mode, so I'll definitely have to check that out. Uh, sometime soon as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And you know what? I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.